Hey everyone, Micah here with Electric. Today we're checking out the Juiced Scorpion, an electric bike that's really more of an electric moped. Let's check it out. The line between electric bikes and mopeds is a blurry one at best, but with retro-inspired frame design, the Juiced Scorpion definitely looks the part of a vintage-style moped. When you add in the features like the giant halo headlight, the long bench seat, and that utility rack, the picture only gets sweeter. This is an aggressively styled e-bike that more than looks the part. Spec-wise, it's rocking a 750-watt motor mounted in the rear wheel, and notice the complete lack of spokes in these wheels. Instead, they're mag wheels, which don't just look cool, that also means you never have to worry about spoke tension or really any spoke maintenance for that matter. They're mounted in 4-inch wide, rounded street tires that feel more like motorbike tires and they make it super fun to carve around and lean into turns. You also get full suspension with a hydraulic suspension fork up front that includes preload and compression adjustments, plus lockout, and dual coilover shocks for the rear suspension. Between that front and rear suspension, the ride is definitely an improvement over hardtails, and the bike just flies over speed bumps like they aren't even there. The Juice Scorpion rocks a 52 volt and 13 amp hour battery for 676 watt hours of capacity. They say it's good for 45 miles or about 70 kilometers of range, but that's on pedal assist. I find that throttle only riding will net you about half that range. Speaking of pedaling, I know it doesn't look like a super pedal friendly e-bike, but it's actually pretty decent for pedal assist. I wouldn't want to pedal it on its own after the battery dies, but that's more because it's a heavy bike at 100 pounds or 45 kilos. But the geometry actually works for decent pedalability, even if it's not optimal like a road bike or a mountain bike. When it comes to speed, you're limited to about 20 miles an hour or 32 kilometers per hour when using throttle only. You can also use pedal assist to enter class 3 mode where you accelerate past the 20 mile per hour limit. Juiced claims a top speed of up to 28 miles per hour, Though in reality, I found it hard to break 25 miles per hour, and even that was only under certain circumstances, and I spent a lot more time at about 24 miles per hour. That was the most common top speed for me. My Scorpion also came with a horn and alarm accessory, which I would definitely recommend. The horn is plenty loud for normal cruising, but it might not be loud enough to alert cars at full speed. The alarm function is actually quite nice, and it comes with a good quality remote and a sensitive trigger. One accessory I did not get, but I probably should have, was a decent pair of mirrors. I find myself riding on the road a lot more than the bike lane or the sidewalk with the Juice Scorpion, perhaps because the bike just feels more like a motorbike and more like a real vehicle, less like a bicycle. But that also means that if you're on the road, you need to be hyper vigilant of cars that are around you. So it's a good idea to slap a pair of mirrors on there, so you can easily check your six. So I think it's fair to say that I'm pretty blown away by the style and the ride of the Scorpion, but when it comes time to complain, I pretty much just have one major complaint, and that's the power. The 750 watt motor might be fine on most bikes, but this is a heavy e-bike, and so the acceleration doesn't feel quite as quick as I was expecting. Part of that might be psychological though, since the Juice Scorpion just looks so aggressive and perhaps I was expecting equally aggressive performance. But at the end of the day, it has the power of most 750 watt e-bikes, which is fine, but I was just going into this thinking, this looks like an epic motorbike, I bet it also has epic power. To be fair, Juiced Bikes does have a Scorpion for that, the Hyper Scorpion, which puts out north of 1500 peak watts from a 1000 watt continuous rated motor plus it hits a top speed of over 30 miles an hour. But for those that don't need that level of power and speed, this basic entry-level Juice Scorpion here is a great e-bike for cruising around and looking cool. I'm certainly guilty of always wanting more power, but even with 750 watts, the Juice Scorpion is an absolute blast to ride. Its wide tires and full suspension offer excellent grip and a smoother ride than other rigid frame mopeds, and its suite of included accessories like bright lights, built-in racks and fenders that are included make it an excellent utility bike as well. All in all, I think that for $1,899, you're getting a deal here. 
there are plenty of bikes in this price range that don't have half of these components, like the 180mm hydraulic disc brakes, or the full suspension, or even just a suspension fork with this level of adjustability. Toss in things like those mag wheels and other motorbike level parts, and this is a pretty good deal in my book, especially for an e-bike that looks totally unique like this. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed that review of the Juiced Scorpion. If you did, why don't you give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can check out all of our electric vehicle videos. We'll see you here next time.